So let's delve into the fascinating world of stagecoaches in the American West. These rugged workhorses were crucial in shaping the frontier during the 1800s, and their story begins with their origins and development. Stagecoaches were the primary mode of long distance transportation in the 19th century American West, and their design and construction played a significant role in their success. The design of stagecoaches was primarily focused on durability and comfort as they were required to travel long distances across the rough, uncharted terrain of the Wild West. They were typically made of wood with a box-like cabin for passengers and a separate compartment for luggage and mail. The cabins were often lined with padded leather seats and curtains to provide some level of comfort during the long journeys. The stagecoaches were also equipped with a suspension system, usually consisting of leather straps, to absorb the shocks from the uneven terrain. One of the key innovations that made stagecoaches essential for long distance travel was the use of teams of horses. Stagecoaches were usually pulled by four to six horses which allowed them to cover vast distances at a relatively fast pace. The horses would be changed at designated stations along the route, ensuring a fresh team to continue the journey. Another important innovation was the establishment of regular routes and schedules. This allowed passengers and businesses to plan their trips and send mail or goods with more certainty. The stagecoach companies would often have contracts with the government for mail delivery, which provided a steady source of income and helped to finance the expansion of their networks. Overall, the combination of durable design, efficient use of course teams, and well-planned routes and schedules made stagecoaches the backbone of long-distance transportation in the 1800s American West. They played a crucial role in connecting the frontier settlements and facilitating the westward expansion of the United States. Now let's discuss the crucial role stagecoaches played in facilitating the westward expansion of the United States. These sturdy vehicles had a significant impact on communication, commerce, and the spread of settlers across the frontier. One of the most important aspects of stagecoaches was their role in communication. In an era without telephones or the internet, stagecoaches were the primary means of delivering mail across the vast expanses of the American West. This allowed people to stay in touch with their loved ones, conduct business, and receive news from distant places. The reliable mail service provided by stagecoaches played a vital role in connecting the frontier with the rest of the country. Stagecoaches were also essential for commerce. As settlers moved westward, they needed supplies and goods to support their new lives. Stagecoaches transported various goods, such as clothing, tools, and food, from the more established eastern cities to the growing towns and settlements in the West. This exchange of goods not only helped the settlers establish themselves, but it also stimulated local economies and promoted further growth. In addition to communication and commerce, stagecoaches played a major role in the spread of settlers across the frontier. For many people, the stagecoach was the primary means of transportation to the West. Settlers would pack their belongings and board a stagecoach, embarking on a long and arduous journey to establish a new life in the untamed wilderness. The stagecoaches made it possible for thousands of people to move westward, contributing to the rapid expansion and growth of the United States. In conclusion, 
stagecoaches were instrumental in facilitating the westward expansion of the United States. They played a vital role in communication, commerce, and the spread of settlers across the frontier, helping to shape the American West as we know it today. Let's take a closer look at the daily life and challenges faced by the people involved in stagecoach travel, the drivers, passengers, and station masters. The journeys were often long and difficult with various obstacles and dangers along the way. Stagecoach drivers had a tough job. They were responsible for driving the stagecoach, managing the horses, and ensuring the safety of their passengers and cargo. This was no easy task as they had to navigate treacherous terrain, unpredictable weather, and potential threats from bandits or hostile Native American tribes. Drivers had to be skilled horsemen with a deep understanding of their animals and the ability to handle them in any situation. They also needed a strong sense of direction and the ability to make quick decisions in the face of danger. For passengers, stagecoach travel could be an uncomfortable and grueling experience. The cabins were cramped and often overcrowded with passengers sitting shoulder to shoulder for hours on end. The journeys were long, sometimes lasting several days with little opportunity for rest. Passengers would often have to endure extreme heat, cold, or dust depending on the season and location. Meals were usually basic and eaten quickly at designated stops along the week. Station masters played a crucial role in the smooth operation of stagecoach routes. They were responsible for maintaining the stations where stagecoaches would stop to change horses, take on supplies, and allow passengers to rest briefly. This was a demanding job as station masters had to ensure that fresh horses were always available and that the stations were well stocked with food, water, and other necessities. Traveling by stagecoach was not without its dangers. Natural obstacles such as rivers, mountains, and desert terrain could pose significant challenges. Accidents were not uncommon. Stagecoaches sometimes overturning or getting stuck in water sand. Additionally, bandits and thieves were known to target stagecoaches, hoping to make off with valuable cargo or passenger belongings. Each drivers and passengers alike had to be vigilant and prepared for such threats. In summary, the daily life of stagecoach, drivers, passengers, and station masters was filled with challenges and potential dangers. Despite these difficulties, stagecoaches remained the primary means of long distance transportation in the 19th century American West, connecting people and communities across the vast frontier. Now, Let's take a moment to learn about some of the famous stagecoach companies that played a pivotal role in the growth and development of the American West. Among these companies, Wells Fargo and the Butterfield Overland Mail stand out as prime examples. Wells Fargo was founded in 1852 by Henry Wells and William G. Fargo, initially as a banking and express company. However, they quickly expanded their services to include stagecoach transportation. With a reputation for security and reliability, Wells Fargo stagecoaches were used primarily for transporting valuable cargo, such as gold, money, and important documents. However, they also carried passengers and mail on occasion. The iconic image of the Wells Fargo stagecoach with its bright red paint and bold logo, became a symbol of the American West. 
Wells Fargo stagecoaches played a significant role in the development of the Western frontier. They provided essential services to the growing towns and settlements, ensuring that people had access to money and supplies. Additionally, Wells Fargo established a network of offices and agents across the West, helping to connect remote communities and promote further growth. The Butterfield Overland Mail was another influential stagecoach company that operated in the American West. Founded in 1857 by John Butterfield, the company was awarded a lucrative government contract to carry mail between St. Louis, Missouri and San Francisco, California. To fulfill this contract, Butterfield established a 2,800 mile route that passed through various frontier settlements, connecting the East with the West. The Butterfield Overland Mail played a crucial role in facilitating communication and transportation across the vast expanse of the American West. Their stagecoaches carried mail, passengers, and goods, promoting economic growth and bringing people closer together. The company's success and influence helped lay the foundation for the growth of other stagecoach companies and the continued expansion of the United States. In conclusion, famous stagecoach companies like Wells Fargo and the Butterfield Overland Mail had a profound influence on the growth and development of the American West. Their services facilitated communication, commerce, and transportation helping to shape the frontier and pave the way for the future expansion of the United States. As we've explored the fascinating history of stagecoaches and their impact on the American West, it's important to also discuss their eventual decline. The expansion of the railroad system and the advent of new transportation technologies ultimately led to the obsolescence and disappearance of stagecoaches from the Western landscape. The development and rapid expansion of the railroad system in the United States during the second half of the 19th century was a game changer for transportation. Railroads offered a faster, more efficient, and more comfortable means of long distance travel. They could carry large quantities of goods, mail and passengers, at a fraction of the time it took for stagecoaches to cover the same distance. As the railroad network expanded testing, stagecoach routes began to disappear. The once thriving stagecoach stations and businesses struggled to compete with the speed and convenience of trains. Additionally, the growing network of telegraph lines provided an even faster means of communication than stagecoach mail delivery, further diminishing the demand for stagecoaches. Another factor contributing to the decline of stagecoaches was the introduction of new transportation technologies. The invention of the automobile in the late 19th century and its increasing popularity in the early 20th century provided a more flexible and efficient alternative to stagecoach travel. As roads and highways were built to accommodate these new vehicles, the need for stagecoaches dwindled even further. Despite their decline, the legacy of stagecoaches in the American West lives on. And they played an essential role in shaping the frontier and connecting communities across the vast landscape. Today, stagecoaches are often romanticized as symbols of the Wild West, evoking images of adventure, ruggedness, and the pioneering spirit that characterized the era. In conclusion, the expansion of the railroad system and the advent of new transportation technologies led to the eventual obsolescence and disappearance of stagecoaches from the Western landscape. 
While their time in the spotlight was relatively short-lived, the impact stagecoaches had on the growth and development of the American West will always